name's Flora Wesley Wesley. I'm Elena Shikorsky, and together we are Nora. We first hatched the idea for Nora, a, a dancer-led performance project back in the autumn of 2014. We wanted to perform together because we really enjoy working together. Some people had already made duets on us and we thought we'd follow in, in that kind of line of inquiry. We didn't necessarily want to make work together, we wanted to be performing, be working with choreographers, um, and be in the studio and, and perform. Once we had the idea, we decided who we were going to commission to make work on us um, by thinking about people whose work we really loved, people who we had maybe met and who we got on with as people, who we thought would be uh, understanding of the project, so understanding of the desire for us to, to be the instigators and the artistic directors. After Jonathan and Matteo said that they would like to work with us, they proposed to us to create a retranslation of both the Sitting Duet, which is a seminal work of theirs that has been touring for many years now. And it's based on a piece of music by Morton Feldman for John Cage. We took the score that Jonathan and Matteo gave us and we essentially did the same thing as they did with it back when they made both Sitting Duet in 2002. So we took the, the music in its two parts for the, for the two musicians, or in, in our case dancers, and we translated the musical notes into movements. What's interesting is when you choose to put something out into the public sphere, I think of it as a sort of revelation of sorts. You know, you take an idea or a joke or a thought that's in your head and you put it out. Simon Tonki is a choreographer whose work we saw in London um, when it was presented at the place back in 2013 and we really loved the, the, the work that we saw, it was a trio. Um, so when we came up with the idea for Nora, we returned to that piece and we, we, we remembered that we had enjoyed it and also kind of been curious as to how he and these other dancers worked with improvisation. That's always been something that we've been interested in as performers and as dancers um, and we've done a lot of that over the past um, years. important to us to work with a woman. Working with Jonathan Matteo and Simon was interesting and a lot of that was about translating their work, which is performed by them, by men, onto female bodies and what that meant and how that changed things or not. But working with Liz we knew that we were working with someone who is already like, deeply engaged with her presence as a woman, as an older woman. And all, all of the experience that you have as a female performer, she has played with over the years. And that sort of was really exciting to, to go into a studio with her and be able to understand together sort of what that experience is. No! You do the hornpipe! No! You do the hornpipe! Let's both do the fucking hornpipe! There's something about this model of working where it's a bit more like we're all on a par. So we invited the choreographers, but they in turn proposed something back to us. And then it was about figuring out that working relationship. We've been encountering audiences regionally and by and large it seems like there's been surprise at how much they've enjoyed the work. I think sometimes when people think of contemporary dance, well, there can be all sorts of um, preconceptions about it, or, or it can be very mysterious. And what's fun is that this programme actually has a lot of humour sort of streaked through it, and a variety of different ways of performing. What's really nice about performing this triple bill is that it's so varied that you really feel like the audience is going to find a way into the show, sort of regardless of who they are. It's nice to sort of do one piece and then go back into the wings and know that the next time you come out, people are going to see something that they don't expect. In the same way as 
that with your whatever niece. You know, it's just not, you know, you have to change between things. You have to, you have to be different day to day. And actually, to think that we are one thing isn't just silly, it's just impossible. It's impossible. Because actually, on a cellular level, we are transforming all of the time. You know, our cells are dying and are replenishing themselves every second of the day. So we are not who we were yesterday, or even at half past six. I am Spartacus! No, I am Spartacus!